you had the spin to get us to come back. Was that it? Should we do that? Should we chant Save Lucifer? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Save Lucifer. Save Lucifer. Save Lucifer. Save Lucifer. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Ellis! Hello. It's a mic. Wait. I might help if I turn it on, doesn't it? Oh, it is on. Do we have the mic on there? Number one. Try now. And uh, that, was the, that was the end of the story, but it was brilliant. Anyway, um, love it. We're back. Oh my gosh, hello! <laughs> wow, it's so nice to be here, and I can't believe how amazing everybody is. You all look fantastic, and I've got my Save Lucifer t shirt on, so. I love it. You can't quite see it, it's faded. Because I've been really trying. <laughs> Please take a seat. Sorry. Take a seat. Right, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Ellis, come on! <laughs> Who's more excited, me or them? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Every guest takes the thing out my Jody accent. Welcome to Comic Con London. <laughs> Woo! All right, he sorry. does it better than me. Right, um, let's just get this out the way. And it's the cancellation. And charming and 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 and, <laughs> and all that. That's what you get with Tom Ellis. <laughs> I was going to say something super naughty, and then I thought maybe I, I shouldn't say that. He's, uh, I can't say that he's a hell of a kisser. <laughs> so, do that. All right. Um, have a great time. Thank you so much for your support. All right. I, I can probably imagine you asked her to do a quick 30 second VT, right? Yeah. I just said, look. Welcome if, to Rachel Harris, everybody. I just said, if you want to drop my question or say something, share, yeah, that'd be amazing. And she literally said it pretty much straight away. That's the whole QA gone, right? Yeah. There. Well, we only came here to see Rachel, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. But um, there's obviously a lot of love between you and the other cast. And how, what, what was it like when you first came together? Was it tough getting to know each other? And how's that developed over the years? Um, it, it wasn't tough, actually. It was surprisingly easy. I, I you know, I was, I've been really blessed with this cast because they are all of them. Each one of them, we, I love them so much. And you can't always say that on jobs. Um, and I don't just say, I think it's quite apparent actually. I think one of the reasons the show's been successful is because of the love that we have for each other and the love that we have for the show kind of comes across on the screen as well. And I think it's, what, what's been really amazing is that, that that seems to have transcended to our fans. So what seems to have come out of this hashtag Save Lucifer thing is that lots of people go, oh my God, I've made so many friends on Twitter that I never knew before. And that, that to me, that's a point of pride. When people walk onto our set and have a really great time working, that's what I want. So now I've had a. I wish I could pick one person from the list, but one of the um, most popular questions was: Is there any funny stories from the current season that you'd like to share? Straight away, he's laughing. You know, there's something. That he's probably. Not I mean, there's that. always funny stories, uh, especially when Lauren German's involved, because she's <laughs> quite possibly the funniest human I've ever met. So Lauren, so t I'll tell you a funny story from this year. Lauren likes to just like mess around and um, she's quite um, what's the word blue is probably the word over here but the blue but the blue for the lads um, and um, yeah, obviously in the current climate in Hollywood it's quite difficult to be blue and funny and people go oh come on everything that's going on you can't do that um, but we kind of like happily ignore that um, and uh, Lauren turned up to work one day with a pair of camel toe underwear <laughs> which apparently drag acts by to sort of hide the evidence and, and present something else. And uh, she wore this camel toe underwear to a rehearsal one morning. <clears throat> and uh, everybody laughed, and then, and then she had to get disciplined <laughs> by our showrunners 
who were, it, it was like the head teacher knowing that they had to tell the kid off for doing something really funny, but they had to tell them off anyway. Uh, and that's basically what happened. And then there was a whole thing about Lawrence Camel Toe Underwear, and then eventually um, it got confiscated, and then on the last day of filming, I put on the Camel Toe Underwear for the last tape. <laughs> And, uh, and she was it? about it. It was great. I posted it on Instagram. It went down quite well. <laughs> Do you, I think you have set yourself up for a fall there because I think every Comic Con from now on, you just be out with camel toe underwear. Just chuck it out. Right. Anyone got any now? No? no. Strange what desire foolish people do. Class 18, stuck in her daydream. She's been this way since 18, but lately her face seems slowly sinking, wasting, crumbling like pastries. And they scream, the worst things in life come free to us, because she's just under the upper hand, goes mad for a couple grams. She don't want to go outside tonight. Cause in a pipe she flies to a motherland And sells love to another man And it's too cold outside For angels to fly Angels to fly To fly To fly, to fly To fly, to fly, to fly. Woo! <laughs> 